Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Jay and welcome to The Ship Life. So while I've been getting my Jerry Springer on for the past two days in my recent videos, talking about cruise ship fights and arrests and twerking grannies, apparently there's been some serious situations going on. There are talks of cruise ship outbreaks, multiple ones, as well as the entire cruise ship industry as a whole being overwhelmed. So we're gonna talk about this and more and the details regarding this entire situation in today's video. We also have a crazy historic update from Royal Caribbean, and this is a very good thing. Regardless of all the craziness currently taking place within the cruise ship industry, especially over here in the United States, I think it is safe to say that the industry is still moving in the right direction. So it does appear that the COVID pandemic is still rearing its ugly head, even this point, unfortunately, in 2022, at least in some regards. So in this video, I do want to talk about a couple points, one of which being the multiple cruise ships that are having COVID case problems on board. I want to highlight one in particular that has been all over the media. News outlets cannot seem to stop talking about it. But then I also want to take a look back at history when it comes to COVID and cruise ships, what I've heard from crew members, as well as what I think is possibly going to happen next for the entire cruise ship industry. So recently we've had two main catalysts that have caused media hysteria in the recent weeks. The first ship was, of course, the Ruby Princess. Between April and March and January, there were a number of COVID cases, and then the passengers were forced to wear masks while on board. The ship was sailing out of San Francisco. They had a number of COVID cases that, well, raised a couple eyebrows, and it got a lot of media attention. Now, I don't want to talk about that too much because even more recently and more relevant, we have a situation with the Carnival Spirit. Now, this ship has just completed a 16-day Panama Canal voyage in which they started started on April 7th and finished on May 3rd. Now, according to some of the passengers, one of which I have a video clip of describing the situation, was that he was on board and uh, he had COVID and apparently there are about 200 other people on board that have also had COVID and it is kind of overwhelming for Carnival and a lot of other cruise ships that are having this similar situation. E either way, we'll talk about more in a second. Take a listen. They told me that they had ran out of medications to treat symptoms. The last day of the cruise, I, I had it and I had put my mask on and I went down to the guest services. Well, what I saw was on, I was on four or five and I was walking down on four or five and four or four. They had listed everybody that was in isolation due to COVID with their full names and cabin numbers by the elevators and the midship elevators. Now, it is important to point out that when it comes to this horrific situation with Carnival, no matter how you're looking at it, being either an outbreak or something that most people like myself don't really see as a big issue, which I'll explain later on, it looks like at, at the end of the day, most of the cases, if not, I'm sorry, all of the cases on board are either minor symptoms or they are asymptomatic meaning that Carnival is doing everything they need to do in order to keep everybody safe. They are still doing the pre-cruise testing. All crew members on board, according to Carnival, are vaccinated and boosted, and they are also tested weekly. So there isn't really so much more that they can do when it comes to this particular situation. We also have words coming from Wonder of the Seas, the largest cruise ship on planet Earth, which recently completed its transatlantic voyage. Now, I was on the inaugural sailing for that, so I did make a couple friends. I've been talking to crew members, and even more so, I have a loyal subscriber of the channel that has been messaging me via email and telling me a couple situations that have been going on. Basically what he is saying is that the captain recently announced that 3% of the passengers on board have tested positive for COVID. Now there's no word on the crew, there's no word on the overall condition of all the passengers on board. However, if this is true, yes it is naturally going to raise a lot of eyebrows. It'll of course make people ask a lot of questions like what the heck is going on because this is something that's been well a head scratcher and a mystery for the past couple months. If a ship is testing everybody pre crew and everybody on board is, uh, of course, vaccinated, then why in the heck is this always seem to be occurring? But even if it is, um, honestly, like I said, it's just something that I don't really take too much into consideration because I always say that I believe context is very important, which I'll explain in just a second. Before I give you my opinion, I do believe we should hop into the time machine and look at some events that in particular happened earlier this year involving COVID. So we all know about the infamous quarantine ships with Royal Caribbean. They had a situation where they had so many cases on board a lot of their ships, they took some of their ships that weren't operating at the time, like Jewel of the Seas. Well, it was, and then they stopped operating it, but they said, 
essentially turned it into a quarantine ship among others and all crew that tested positive had to go over to those ships now i have accounts of this i have crew members that are friends believe it or not guys i'm a former crew member so yes i have friends that are on these ships that are giving me accounts of everything that was going on and a lot of them were saying that it is not royal caribbean's fault however there is a little bit of overwhelming evidence indicating that well some situations because of the amount of people that are testing positive are kind of being neglected to a certain degree as far as getting food and getting the care that they need and if they need assistance with something regardless of what it is be it if they need new bed sheets or food or something like that some of the food would show up late and what have you but there's also been situations because i have friends that are nurses that are contracted on board royal caribbean ships like wonder of the seas and mariner of the seas where they have positive cases on board and they describe similar situations where they did feel a little overwhelmed as far as getting people the care they need because well there's only so many crew members that you can have per cruise ship and they all have duties it was a similar situation when it comes to the buffets on royal caribbean ships as well and i hate to point out royal ships but i'm using this as an indication because this is what i have the most documented information on but you can apply this to generally the entire cruising industry so to speak now if you want my opinion on this whole matter yes i do believe that cruise lines need to pay attention to what's going on because obviously things like public perception and what the media is putting out there are extremely important however to a certain degree i would just say for the cruise lines you can kind of ignore a lot of this because like i said context is very important i think this whole media hysteria craze because you see if you guys look online about the overwhelmed cruise lines you're going to see every single media outlet just using the same words to a certain degree in their titles in order to entice people to click i always say context in the sense that if nobody is seriously ill if nobody is dying then it is not that big of a deal I think that the fact that everybody is asymptomatic only highlights the health and safety protocols that have been implemented by the cruise lines are indeed working. So I would say, yes, obviously do what you need to do, cruise lines, in order to keep everybody safe, adapt what you need to do in order to make sure the public perception and appearance is what it is and you actually are keeping people safe. Uh, overall, just kind of be quiet on the matter. You don't need to be vocal on it or anything like that because at the end of the day, I think that when it comes to these media organizations, they just need something to kind of poke at. And when you see, let's say, a few people that are talking about situations on board well i'm not saying that they're lying but it is easy to glorify a lot of these situations as we have of course seen throughout this entire pandemic but that's all i have to say on the matter guys of course let me know your thoughts in the comment section below i know i'm probably missing a lot of points because i could literally talk about this overwhelming idea with the cruise lines for literally hours now finally in some great royal caribbean news because we just talked all about royal caribbean again i just had all the data with royal caribbean but essentially royal caribbean will go back to full service with every single one of the ships in their fleet and operation. This is great news. Last week, Carnival became the first cruise line out there, at least from the mainstream, to have their full fleet back in service. And obviously, like I said, this is great for the industry. It marks a great moment in history. Now, the final ship that will be returning to service for Royal Caribbean will be Rhapsody of the Seas. At the end of the month, it will do a sailing from Rome to Athens, Greece. And just like that, the entire cruise ship industry is going back to normal. And I think overall, this is great news. Two thumbs up. Anyway, guys, we are going to wrap this video up. Now, I do want to let all of you know i have a major 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 announcement tomorrow i will be announcing it tomorrow morning this is going to change literally everything on my channel all of my cruises are now canceled and it's for a great reason so uh just make sure you guys tune in tomorrow of course for this video hit that like button on your way out subscribe to the channel because trust me when i tell you and i've been teasing at it for a while guys things are gonna get good i love all of you i appreciate all of you and i will see you first thing tomorrow morning for the giant announcement take it easy